Well, these are my new Paca blackberries. Right now they're in one gallon containers, but we're going to be putting them in some massive wicking tubs. I think it's something you might want to see. Stick around. Check it out. Well, here are the wicking tubs. Um, these are uh, the same tubs I had my uh, fig trees planted in. And I have decided to put the fig trees in the ground and we're going to reuse these for these blackberries. So I'm just dumping in the, making sure the, the, the pipes in the bottom of the wicking tubs look good and, and the uh, ground cover, the landscape cloth uh, is in good shape. And then just dumping in the uh, potting mix. Uh, in this case, I'm using BM7 from a company called Burger, but uh, any good potting mix will do. It needs to be pretty high in peat, uh, 60, 70, 80% peat, and then the rest would probably be uh, compost bark or, um, or perlite. But any good potting mix will do. So I will also be incorporating lime into the uh, wicking tub. Uh, potting mix is about, has a pH of about 5.5, 4.5 to 5.5. So it's real uh, low in pH. You need to bring that up to a, probably a neutral uh, seven. And so to do that, um, we'll use this uh, lime. I'm also putting an organic fertilizer in the wicking tubs. I'm putting it around the outside rim so it will not be close to the roots of the blackberry plants. And then uh, I went ahead, I've got nine of these tubs and I went ahead and got uh, all of them done with uh, the lime and filled up with potting mix, mixed in good like I did before and then put the fertilizer around the rim. For some reason, I lost the footage of actually putting the plant in the wicking tub, but it's basically dig, a, dig out a hole in the middle and drop it in. It's not, a, not brain surgery by any means, but you want to plant it about the same uh, depth as it was in the pot. You don't want to go too deep with blackberries. They've got a crown and you don't need to, uh, you just need to have it as deep as it was in the pot when you get it out of the nursery or if you propagated it yourself. So we've done that on all nine of these and we're ready to take them out to the garden. I'm not putting any water in them right now because they are heavy when you get water in them. You should water those things in as soon as you put them in, but for right now they're dry because they're only about 20, probably 20 or 30 pounds. You get a wicking tub that's full of water and wet potting mix, and I would say it's close to 100 pounds. They are very heavy. So uh, I won't be putting uh, water in them until I get them in place. Now here I am putting in in place and uh, lining them up right where I had the fig trees, actually. But um, I'm gonna space them out a little further, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. Uh, but for right now, we're gonna we're going to get them all spaced out and uh, next to my blackberries, the blue tubs you see are all blackberries. Those are all the blue tubs are Prime Arc Freedom blackberries. And I planted those one year ago and they went absolutely crazy. Uh, the hard Texas freeze we had here, it hurt them pretty bad but uh, they're starting to, to leaf out now and come back. And uh, again, I'm gonna tell you why I'm spacing these orange tubs out uh, in just a minute, because I've learned some things about what I did with the blue tubs there, those blackberries. Well, like I said, they need to be watered in. So before I watered on top, I, I filled up through the, the tube, the pipe you see sticking up. I filled the, uh, the bottoms full of uh, water make sure they had plenty of water to start the wicking process, but also water on top. Don't just, uh, don't just rely on it to wick up because it really needs some water uh, in the mix to, to help the wicking process. And also 
any new plant like this, whether it be vegetable or anything, uh, you put it in dry mix, dry potting mix, and that potting mix will just suck all the water out of that uh, the the soil that's around that plant. So try to get them watered as quick as possible. So again, spacing these apart uh, because I've learned my lesson on the previous planting of the blue tubs in the uh, the blackberries. And what I learned was I don't think they got as much airflow as they really needed. And I had some I had a little bit of a fungus problem last year, a little rust or fungus. And I think part, part of that is because they uh, were just too close together. So I'm, I'm, you'll see in, the, in a coming video, I am thinning out these blue tubs here. And I'm going to re replace and respace those like I'm doing here with the orange tubs. Because I just think they, they need the, they, they, they have a tendency to shade each other out and also have a tendency to block airflow, which is critical, especially in the south. Uh, in human conditions to keep your um, to keep your funguses down. So the ponkas are moved. They're in the big tubs now. Looking forward to seeing what they're going to do this year. See how well they perform compared to the Primark Freedoms in the blue tubs. And uh, just looking forward to a good year with the ponkas and uh, how well they do in these wicking tubs. Again, I'm sold on container gardening uh, for fruit. Uh, I'm sold on blackberries and containers. Um, I, the, the freeze hurt us, but it was a once in a hundred year freeze. So I probably won't be around for the next one. So I think these are, uh, these are going to come back and do fine. The blue tubs and the ponkas should do well too. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. We're gone. <laughs>